residential, now the IJORs have to be fire retardant. We have cities that have given us our chemical complete blanket approval. We're in the process of some testing through ICC for fire retard for iJoys. Today we're gonna to show a demonstration with our using our FX paint guard on a piece of iJoys. So we have a piece here that we've got FX paint guard on one side and the other side is untreated. And we're just gonna put a torch to both sides just to show the chemical reaction of our FX paint guard and then to show the difference between a treated side and an untreated side. And just watch where how, how the treated side, it, it isolates. It stays isolated in one little small area. Doesn't, the flame doesn't spread or anything. And look at the untreated side. It's, it's already spread up to the flange. Structural failure of an eye joist is not just from a fire, but it's also from the heat of a fire. It starts softening the resins and the glues that are used to put this material together because this is considered to be an engineered material. So if you get enough heat on it and it starts softening up the glues and the resins, then the whole thing falls apart and that's where you get structural failure. As you can see, the flame on the untreated side is already up into the flange. Again, this is a floor ceiling assembly, so the top part that would be on top of this eye joist is your floor. So you've got heat going through that subfloor. By now, you've got the, the underside of the subdeck is now probably starting to catch fire. Now we take the flames away. And you see where the treated side has extinguished itself. The untreated side is still burning. 